So a bit of a follow-up video to the previous video I'd made about switching to the iPhone 13 mini from the 14 Pro. Why in the world would you buy a refurbished phone from Amazon? Well, there's a lot of reasons why, so let's talk about that. Hey, before we get started today, I just wanna say welcome to the channel. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If you're brand new, welcome. Here we talk about tech, Apple products, Windows, Mac, all these kinds of different things around the tech space. So if you're into that, if you're a nerd like I am, be sure to subscribe down below, join the conversation, would love to chat. For me, the biggie was the price. Buying this phone brand new from Apple with 256 gigabytes of internal storage and two years of Apple Care Plus because I think it's a worthwhile investment, that price came out to 939.06 and that's a lot for a mini phone that's almost a thousand dollars granted hundred and fifty dollars of that is a warranty and an extra I believe hundred dollars goes to the storage um, so if you bought just the base version with no extra coverage with taxes it'd be like 700 something but um, that's still a lot because I know that I'm gonna use that 256 gigabytes of storage and I know that just one incident of dropping this thing um, and the Apple Care pays for itself. I've, I've been there multiple times, um, so it's definitely worthwhile. So I, I actually bought from Apple directly. I did buy one, I used it for a while, and then I kind of shopped around to see if there was maybe a better deal that I could find on it, uh, because Apple does have the two week return period, which is very, very nice. And I found the renewed unit on Amazon. And so I thought, shoot, why the heck not? They give you their full, their full backing, their full, um, coverage and warranty it's like a one-year warranty of free returns and support and i'm like well let's go for it and see how it goes so i bought the 256 gigabyte version in green same exact phone and that when all said and done came out to a price of 704 dollars and six cents that's a difference of 235 dollars for those of you doing the math at home otherwise a 25 percent discount basically off of the apple store and so what do you get for 25% less? And it's the same exact phone, even though used, uh, what kind of a difference does it make? What do you get? But you don't get the traditional unboxing experience like you do if you were buying straight from Apple. But for the savings, I'm okay with that. You get just a traditional, you know, here's your box, it's a renewed product, enjoy it, you're helping the environment sort of a thing. At first, when I pulled these two phones out, I don't have the one that I sent back to Apple anymore. But when I pulled them out side by side, I could definitely notice a difference in that this one, which is obviously the renewed version, um, it just felt more worn. No, that, I shouldn't say it, I shouldn't say worn because that, that denotes that it was a bad unit. Like it looked brand new, it functioned as brand new. It just felt like, to me specifically, the rails on the phone felt like they were not as like slippery, if that's a word. It just felt more textured. Not that it was beat up or anything, like there's no indication of wear on it. It just felt a little bit more textured, which is a weird way of saying, like I, it, it's almost like the coating had come off. Like if there was a coating on the aluminum from the brand new one from Apple, it wasn't on uh, this one. Um, and that was really the only difference that I noticed. The screen was perfect, uh, the buttons all worked perfectly. There was no real indication of anywhere at all, um, except for along the front of the screen. So that was a disclaimer that Amazon had had in there that um, what they do in their process is if necessary, they will replace screens with genuine OEM parts, they'll replace batteries. And so it kind of looked like there was like something in the side of the screen and you, I can't even see it now with the naked eye. I feel like it's come out, but just, almost like a little bit of like crud in there, like it had been in like somebody's pocket or whatever. Uh, it arrived clean. I don't want to say it arrived dirty. It just, there was tiny, tiny imperfections that the average person would never have noticed. But because I had it compared to the brand new one, I could see uh, slight differences. Um, but again, for the savings of $235, had to check my computer there. <laughs> um, that was definitely worth it because it's just a slight cosmetic thing. like and it goes away over time. Like it's just, you clean it and it goes away. Um, so definitely not worth the extra money. And I was really mostly concerned about the battery and the screen. I didn't want a crummy third party replacement if Amazon did replace it. So I went into battery health and I checked to make sure things were genuine. And I, I've seen no indication 
that anything was even done to replace the screen or replace the battery. Even on my 14 Pro, I actually had to have the screen replaced by Apple due to a manufacturer defect, and that told me within the settings that it was a genuine replacement. This appears to be original, factory original. Um, and the battery, the battery life, the health, I was surprised when I got it was showing 100%, which was awesome. And I was a little nervous about that because I'm like, well, I know that they won't replace it if it's, you know, basically above 84% or whatever it is. So I was a little nervous to see what that would be. But yeah, that is showing 100% battery health still, which is fantastic. And I was super glad to uh, find that out. And then running through many various tests of, of the camera system to make sure, you know, were the cameras ever replaced? Is it, I, I was like combing through the phone trying to find something wrong with it because I'm like, there's no way it, it could be this good. You know what I mean? Like there's gotta be some kind of a catch or something wrong with it. But guys, there really hasn't been, honestly. And I think it really is the luck of the draw because this could be, this could have just been like a store unit sitting at a Best Buy in like New York or whatever. And Amazon got, got it and like they, they flipped it and refurbished it. Like who knows what the story is on it, but the reality is, is it's, it's clean, it's fixed if anything needs to be fixed. And it's, it's basically indistinguishable from something brand new from Apple, which I think is fantastic. And for the cost savings, it's definitely worth it. And a biggie that kind of drew me into wanting to buy from Amazon as opposed to like any other third party, like open box from Best Buy or whatever is, Amazon's just super good with returns and customer service, um, some of the time, most of the time. Um, and then as far as just the warranty goes, like they have a one year warranty on it. So that kind of gave me peace of mind to know that like, okay, if after six, seven, eight, nine, nine, 10 months, like something happens, it breaks, like something goes wrong with it, then I can get it fixed or replaced. And that is, a uh, super big weight off the shoulders when buying something like this. And I even went to Amazon talking back about the little crud in the edge of the screen. I even contacted their support after I got it and pull up this whole thing to be like, you know, it doesn't look brand new. There's these little imperfections in it and they were gonna be like, okay, well you can like send it back and we'll get you a replacement or give you a refund, whatever you wanna do. And, and I kind of held off, I didn't do that, but I just kind of wanted to see like, are they serious about <laughs> their return policy? Like, can I just return it for any reason or can I, you know, have it fixed for just these tiny little things. And they were totally willing to work with me on it. So I'm like, okay, I believe you. <laughs> I believe then that if something were to go wrong that I could get it fixed and taken care of. So uh, that's really it. I mean, my experience with buying from them has been really good. I mean, you can, you can find refurbished products across any kind of electronic devices across all these spectrums. And again, it's gonna vary based on where or like what you're buying and just the story of the individual device. And it just is what it is. On the flip side, I actually bought my wife one of these uh, minis from eBay refurbished because they, they didn't have the right one we were looking for on Amazon and it was a little bit cheaper to buy from eBay. And it wasn't like a third party seller. It was like actual eBay certified refurbished product. So I bought her uh, one of these exact phones in pink and we got the eBay warranty through that and it ended up being a little bit cheaper because it's a smaller storage option and um, Amazon charges a little more for the renewed premium aspect. But um, we basically did the same exact process, but buying from eBay refurbished. And again, that was a fantastic experience. And that one came with the eBay certified refurbished warranty, which is a two year warranty, which is pretty cool. And the only issue that we had with that one, I, I wouldn't call it an issue. The only knock I would have to give it is um, when we got it and set it up, everything worked fine and perfectly. Like it looked cosmetically better than the one I had received. I think not that this one looked bad at all. It just, like I say, I noticed those little tiny imperfections and hers did not have that. The only thing she had is it arrived with a battery health of 94%. So that's like, Oh, okay. You know, it's not technically a bad state of health for the battery, but it's definitely been used for at least a year or so. Um, so that's something that I could see like, okay, we might have to replace the battery for 50 bucks um, down the line in the future. So that's the only thing. But for the amount we saved, I think her phone was like 400 something bucks, 450 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. Again, much cheaper than the $700 you would pay at Apple. So definitely a good bargain. So if you're, if you're looking for a new phone, if you're in the market, I would definitely recommend checking out Amazon Refurbished. If you're the type of person like me that would just much rather buy brand new 
because you know there's not going to be any issues with it and then you get full warranty um, and then you're not going to get screwed over as opposed to like buying a used product but you just really don't want to pay that new price tag something like ebay refurbished or amazon refurbished amazon renewed um, is going to be a better middle of the road option where you're kind of going to get the quality and warranty and support that you're looking for while not also spending top dollar so that's it it's been a great experience but thank you so much for watching be sure to like and comment subscribe and comment below what you think about buying renewed how do you get your phones do you buy them brand new do you buy them used i used to always buy through ebay i don't really so much anymore but if it, i need to i will so thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one